Hey everyone, it's Presley at EctoGames.com here and welcome to Science Sundays. So today we are doing a review of a gyrobot which is supposed to teach us a lot about how gyroscopes work in the real world. Okay, so like Presley said, uh, one of the things that we're thinking about doing is Science Sunday. Science Sunday. It's like bringing a little structure to the channel uh, a couple of days a week. This most likely won't work because we were supposed to do Japanese vlogs like once a week. As you can see, they come out not at all. Mm -hmm. Also, the Let's Plays, once a week. Once every two months. <laughs> yes, we need to post yes, another Let's Play. <laughs> Thank you, saving every two months. So, uh, like, we do a lot of things on the channel. Like, everybody probably notices we do a ton of different kinds of things on the channel. So, we've been thinking about a few days a week having some structure around, like, Toy on Saturday, uh, Science Sunday. Um, we're thinking about maybe doing blind bags uh, on Wednesdays Ooh. because uh, we go to jujitsu. Both Presley and I do jujitsu classes on Tuesdays, and so it's nice to have something kind of quick and easy to shoot on. on Tuesday nights for us so that the Wednesday video would be like a blind bag video. Yeah. So uh, let us know what you think in the comments about uh, bringing some structure and doing some things on certain days. Or just do some randomness. Or do we just stay random and kind of do whatever we can when we can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so today though is going to be the first Science Sunday. Uh, certainly not our first science video. Uh, we'll also be better about putting our science videos and uh, toy videos and things in a playlist so it's easier to find kind of what the you're looking for. Playlist. The toy toll playlist, right? If we we're gonna call our toy playlist the toy toll list. If you uh, uh, if you come and you watch a toy video and you want to see more toy videos, we're gonna make it easier to find that playlist and do some of that stuff. We're gonna kind of structure, hey, but like, let us know. Is, is that cool or do you like kind of the randomness, never knowing mm -hmm. randomness? Randomless. The, the sort of the random, never knowing what you're gonna get when you come watch the channel, or would it be better to kind of have an idea that oh, every every Sunday I want to watch and see what they're doing with their homeschool stuff? Yeah, like. Yeah. Like every Saturday, I would immediately, when I, first thing in the morning, Saturday, is Shadowcraft out yet? Uh, yeah, right, yeah, it's the same kind of thing. So that's yeah, right. that's what people would do, I guess, if okay, they had so specific videos. Tell us about the gyrobot. What, what do we got here? So it's this whole set thing to make, Okay. it's this whole set thing to make different gyroscope things. Yep. It has a compass, of course, the robot thing. Uh, like a little standing robot. Yeah. Yep. A flight simulator. Yep. A balance game. Don't know what that's about. A gyro horizon. You'll learn about that. What is a gyro horizon? Yep. A personal transporter. That sounds so fancy. I think that guy's kind of cool. Ooh, and a tightrope walker. Tight walker. Right. So you guys may remember uh, if you've been watching for a while, or if you look back at some of the last science, earlier science stuff, uh, when we were in Chicago with Mommy and Gracie, uh, we went to the Museum of Science and Industry. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Or Science and Innovation. Industry, Science and one of the two, whatever. Something, we went there. Something, and it was awesome, yeah. right? And it was huge and it was ridiculous. We didn't get to see everything, but we were lucky enough to be there with Gracie and her dad. And her dad knew a lot. They had this cool thing that was a conveyor belt that you built a custom. A gyroscope. It made a custom toy for you, and that toy was a gyroscope. So we learned a lot from him about how the automation works and how the in assembly fact, line works. In fact, actually, on Friday at school, we, went, we did an assembly line thing, uh -huh. is we would make a product. And then we'd pass it along and make it our own assembly line yeah. out of it, which was interesting. We made fancy fans with random things hanging off of it. See, that's cool. So that's not so an automated assembly line because yeah. it's people doing it and stuff. Yeah, so basically I'll tell you a little bit about the non-automated assembly line that All I right. made. Yep. So first things first, my best friend, she would cut the paper in half. Okay. And then I would fold the fan and then I would pass it on to the next person who would tape the fan. Okay. Who would tape the end of the fan. Uh, okay. So it stays together. Right. And then I would pass it to the next person who would add some decorations, and the next person who would add more decorations, right. and then you would have a really fancy looking fan. So here's what you should have done, mm -hmm. right? And you're, this is what your teacher should have done, and maybe we'll do this as an experiment, right? Mm -hmm. So what you should have- over and do it? No, no, well maybe, yeah, yeah, we'll bring people, we'll get a bunch of people over and we'll do it. So what you should have done is taken, like, let's say you had five people. Yes. In the assembly line, right? Mm -hmm. So you would give everybody all the stuff they need to make a fan, mm -hmm. and you would give everybody like 10 minutes, mm -hmm. and everybody would make whole fans, mm -hmm. and would make as many fans as they could in that time, and you would see how how many fans the five of you made mm -hmm. making complete fans by yourself and then you would make the assembly line mm -hmm. and you would take the same five or ten minutes however long you carved out and see how many fans you made in that time using the assembly line method I which one do you more, think would have been more i think the assembly line would have been more um that is the taping is not easy so mm -hmm. maybe it'll take longer because the person who's taping just says eh, eh, eh. <laughs> right 
But if already, they're just focused on the taping, they yeah. might get really good at it and get fast at it or something. Yeah. So that sounds so, like a really cool experiment. We so should yeah, probably if I have it. a friend over who cuts it, or yeah. and then I fold it, and then I pass it to the next person who tapes it, and then. And then if we have more people, we could have one person add one decoration. And you should tell your teacher that you want to try that at school and see what she says. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. So uh, way off topic though. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we got the little gyroscope. We did a cool video, what I thought was a cool video, talking about um, That's how like, our homeschool works. Angular we velocity. Bring up something. Yeah, right. So we bring up something totally <laughs> random and then we learn we science go, We just go it. with it. So we had like the angular momentum kind of thing and we were talking about how a gyroscope works and how it balances and why it doesn't fall over. We've talked about gyroscopic precession, but all of that was sort of with a little toy. Right, and they use gyroscopes in all kinds of things in industry. They're all over the place, and they're really almost just as simple as that little gyroscope toy that we got, right? And that's what this kit is supposed to do. You've got the little gyroscope, gyroscope kind of toy thing that you can play. Man. Yeah, right. You can play with a little gyroscope, um, but you can also use the parts in the kit supposedly to build things that are similar to the way that they're used in industry. And so we can learn a little bit I'm about how they get used. I'm excited for the flight simulator. I have yeah. no idea how big this thing is. It's tiny. But it will sit yeah. on the desk. It'll sit on this desk. Yeah. No, not like an act. No, I was saying oh, you want if to it's big enough to, yeah, if you check high. your can write it or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll be awesome if that'll work. All right, so uh, we're going to tear into this thing. Let's look and see what kind of parts are in it real quick, and then we'll play around and, and we'll show you guys how it works. Yeah, let's see how big the gyroscope man is. Yes. So maybe Director Lord can write on it. Should I bring it down for a size comparison? No, not yet. Not yet. We won't know until we get further along. Oh, yeah, they're big. They're bigger. Okay, here's the gyroscope. Ooh. Oh, it's weighted. It's very heavy. Ooh. Which is important it's because what are, what are the things that matter about angular momentum? Well, the things that matter is mass yep. and <clears throat> it's mass and well, wait, wait, it's part of mass. Yeah. 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 So mass and, and what? Wait, what's the second? Thing? I was going to say inertia. Well, well angular momentum, momentum is, is kind of is inertia. rotational inertia. Yeah. Yes. So what's the other inertia. thing? What's the other thing that's so there's, matters? Wait, so there's, there's two mass. things that are really kind of well, that's three really, but. Uh, uh, there's mass, yep. and there's, oh, how close the mass is into this. Yeah, side. how close it is to the point like, of rotation. That's right, to the axis of rotation. That's exactly right. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a little... Uh, it looks big enough. A rector set kind of thing, and apparently you mount this uh, gyroscope in different configurations. you got a little wheel guy, so he's supposed to kind of balance, I think, like the little uh, segways. Robot man. You make like a little robot man segway stuff? Okay, so we're going to... Yeah, uh, like those uh, robotic segways, which is the unicycles, which are supposed to balance. Uh, yeah, yeah. I would be so terrified to get on one of those, because he'd think I'm going to fall over <laughs> scream and then yeah. I'll fall over because I was being really weird. All right, I think it's going to be really cool. Right, so we're going to tear into some of this stuff, follow some of the instructions and see what we can build and then yeah. we'll come back and we'll uh, talk, show you guys what we built. And, and we'll definitely show you if Dracula or Claudine or all yeah, of I mean, them you can be able to even, Yeah, right. just like put them on top of it and see if they can balance and stuff. <laughs> right. we'll, we'll build a little monster high segue. Yeah, Dracula gets a segue <laughs> <or> Claudine. <coughs> awesome. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit. Yeah. We've been playing with the kit for a little bit. Yay. Um, and what's your verdict? It's really fun and really cool and science -y. It's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super, super impressed. Uh, so, so I'll say the, the... And it has two awards on it. The Gold Award for Parents' Choice and the Best Toy Award in Platinum. That must sure, be good. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it's an award-winning science kit. Yay, yeah, it is really good. Uh, the uh, the cool, coolest thing about it to me to start off with is that the gyro is battery-powered. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're not doing the wing, like wing. <laughs> ripping the cord and letting it run for a couple of seconds and then it stops. Yeah. Uh, you turn it on, it spins up really well and it lasts for a long time. Uh, make, sure you have, batteries so make sure you have fresh batteries. We put some uh, near dead batteries in it. It didn't work so great when we first yeah. started trying out, but we got fresh batteries in it. It's really doing awesome now. Uh, this is one of the simple kits that you build. Uh, just a little robot that uh, walks. It's um, terrible. Does a little kind of balancing on the and gyro. Arms are even articulated. Yeah, they bend right. at the shoulders, ooh, and the elbows, the elbows, the hands, and the maybe. hands. Yeah, like, open and close. Ooh, bah, ooh. So you can grab. You can carry. <laughs> you can carry things. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's make him walk first. Just the basic. Uh, you know, like if you were spinning a gyro and balancing it on your finger. This is kind of the same thing. It just comes with a set of wheels that are geared. So the spinning of the gyro slowly spins the wheels. So he should walk for me here. Let's see what happens. You gotta give it about 20 seconds uh, for the gyro to spin up. And get nice and stable. And then. <laughs> off, he, off he walks. There's a whole lot of for some reason. I think you can put things in his head, too. Oh, wait, no, I think it, <laughs> it looks like a hole. It looks like there's a hole in his head. And, and then you build this down. little stand here so that you can set him down while he unwinds. And once you turn it off, it takes a little bit for the 
gyro to spin down, obviously. Not like yeah, so he doesn't just fall over, which yeah. is kind of fun to watch. And we did that certainly. We just turned the turned the gyro off and let him kind of wobble over and finally stop and fall. It was kind of cool to watch him. So a really basic experiment. Oh, the other thing you can do though, while we got him up and running, oh. is it comes with this little rope, and you can build a, a tightrope walker. Uh, but the robot will actually manage it just fine. You gotta have good tension on the rope. Are you looking and tying this to your wall? Cool. cool. There we go. So he can balance and walk on the tightrope, which is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I'm like, let me grab him and then I fall, and then he falls off. Uh, and you can build, they have like plans for, you know, like you take some of these planks and bet them out for good balance and stuff, but he actually does great on his own. You don't have to worry about it. Um, you do some other cool experiments where you uh, can kind of play with center of gravity. So you build up a tall tower on top of it and see if it'll keep it balanced and you can kind of learn that if it's off balance, if the center of gravity of the thing you build is not above the gyroscope, it doesn't help too much, it still wobbles and falls over, but if you can keep it balanced, it'll be well. Yeah. Cool. So uh, let's build one of the more complicated projects and show everybody what some of the more complicated stuff. We'll do some, uh, there's a, you can build a cool, uh, yeah, horizon indicator that like they use in an airplane. Let's build one of those. Cool? Yeah. All right. Okay. So, uh, this is one of the more complicated projects that you can build. Yeah. Um, it is so, the, uh, the horizon. Yeah, like a horizon indicator, right? Okay. And so this is what would be in an airplane, and it's even got like you know markings on it, kind of like what you would see in an airplane. And when you build this rig, uh, the gyroscope can flip this way and it can spin this way, right? So it's got a lot of freedom of movement in it. I built uh, the rig, I think. You did. You built the rig for the gyroscope. And so uh, let's go ahead and turn it on and get it spinning up. Give it a couple of seconds to spin up, and then we'll show kind of what this does, and then we'll talk a little bit about gyroscope precession again. Yeah. Um, and how this little guy can kind of display that in a really cool way. I really love gyroscope precession. It's I one just, of my favorite things in physics. I just kind of want to turn this on, hang it from the ceiling, and push randomly and see where it goes. <laughs> and push it around to see where it turns. Okay, so once this is up and running at full speed, then uh, you can turn the handle, and it kind of stays still. Then you can tilt it up and down, and the gyroscope kind of stays pointing, facing the way that it was. So this is how, like in a plane, I'm sort of spinning it now, this is how, like in an airplane, a pilot can tell. Like if you can't see out, it gets sometimes it gets all foggy, or the weather's bad or something, and you can't see the horizon, and you can't tell, like it feels weird, you can't tell if you're climbing, or go up, going up, or going down. And so this little thing here kind of is was what's in an airplane that tells the, the pilot which way he's facing and whether he's going up and down and whether he's tilting left or right. It uses the fact that the gyroscope won't change. While the plane can sort of change the way that it's tilting, the gyroscope resists that change. And so it can be used to, to tell the pilot how he's flying. That makes sense, right? That's pretty cool. So that's one of the real practical applications of using a gyroscope in something like an airplane. And this little kit kind of demonstrates it pretty cool, huh? You like that? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Cool. Okay, so let's talk about gyroscopic precession real quick while we've got it in this rig, because I think that's one of the fun things this rig does. Do you want to explain what gyroscopic possession is? Well, gyroscopic possession, pose, possession, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah. gyroscopic possession, process, possession, blah, blah. possession, possession, gyroscopic yeah. possession yep. is, in per, uh, is a percussion type of instrument. I might say percussion a couple times because I was in music class for a long time. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So gyroscopic percussion, <laughs> gyroscopic procession. Gyroscopic procession is where you push on something and it actually pushes in a 90 degree angle. Yeah, so on a gyroscope, if you apply force to the gyroscope, then that force, it acts like you applied that force 90 degrees further along the rotation. So in this, if you push right here, you know, if I try and push this back on this side of the gyroscope, the gyroscope's gonna act like I pushed up here, so it's gonna tilt to the back. Yeah. And because this is kind of wide open, it's kind of a cool way to see it. So watch, I'll push here, and the gyroscope tilts back. Okay. If I push on this side, it tilts down. Right, go ahead. And once it gets flat, it can spin because you're not trying to change its axis of rotation, right? Once it's up here, it kind of spins okay. But if it's facing this way, then it's gonna act the way that you push it. So you can, to turn it up and down, you push on the sides, which is really neat. And this rig is a really cool way to kind of play around with that. You can really feel that I'm pushing on the side, but it's tilting, it's acting like I'm pushing on the top. Or you're pushing on the side and it's acting like it's pushing on the bottom now. Because whichever way it's rotating, 
if you go 90 degrees in the direction of rotation and that's the way the force acts like it's applied. That's pretty cool. Huh? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't know. I, it's one of my favorite things that happens in physics that's really bizarre. And I understand it and can explain it and show how it works, but I have no idea why it does it. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I love it. I think it's awesome. And this kit is worth it almost just to have a really cool way to kind of play around with gyroscopic precession. So I guess you could, yeah, watch. So watch this. I'm going to push on the top. What's going to happen? It's going to probably end up like pushing. Well, it the... turns. Because it's actually like I push on the side. Uh -huh. So the rig kind of will spin because I'm pushing on it. Well, I'm not pushing. That's cool, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I love that. Okay, so that's uh, uh, that's the more complicated rig. And so while we were playing around, like there's lots of different experiments in here, and uh, and we're gonna do a ton of them. We're just showing you guys a few of the ones that we did. So we showed you a little robot, and then we showed you this, which are, the robots are really simple, the most simple one probably. Yeah. And then this is one of the more complex ones. But you also, you have all of these parts where you can kind of build your own thing. And so what we decided we were going to try and do... Is build a monster high segue. Is build a monster high segue. For Miss Dracula here. We're going to see if we can make the gyroscope, like the robot that we built first, we're going to see if we can use that concept to build some sort of a stabilizer that uh, a monster high doll can ride on top yes. of. So we're going to give that a shot and we'll show you what that looks like. Yeah. So here's our grand finale. Yay. What are we going to do? We are going to give Draculaura a ride on the gyroscope. Yeah, so we're taking kind of a lot of the different things that we learned uh, doing the different kits about center of gravity and balance and the tightrope walker guy and all that. And since it is just basically like a little erector set, you can kind of build your own thing and do your own work with it. So we decided we're going to see if we can't build like a little uh, monster high segue. Yeah. And have uh, have her ride along. We're going to start with sitting. Because yeah. standing, it's kind of hard to get that center of gravity going. So we'll start with sitting. But we're going to keep playing around with it and see if we can get standing working too. Right now we're having Draculaura ride it. Um, Draculaura is only riding it because we don't have a Cleo. Cleo would definitely be riding if we had one because Cleo is an Egyptian princess. <laughs> it's quite obviously that she would be carrying around. It'd be a great little chariot. Yes. Or Cleo, there's no doubt. Alright, let's spin this thing up and let's we see if we get, can make we this can work. We can get the headmistress, headmistress, oh, uh -huh. headmistress what's her face? Blood something? Headmistress Bloodgood. We blood can good. get headmistress Bloodgood and then put the horse. Oh, okay. <laughs> like Alright, ready? Here we go. Yeah, One, yeah. two, three. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> A little off balance there. Oh. Alright, let's see if we can get that better. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah. Woo, Dr. Laura. So now, like, mixing toys and science. Right? Yay. Awesome. Good times. It's gonna get off the table. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna okay, fall cool. off the table too. Alright, so uh, yeah, endless possibilities for what you can do with this thing, I think. Um, like I said, I think Presley is probably gonna be spending some time with this. Um, we're gonna put it in her room and, and let her play around with it and see what kinds of what kind of cool stuff she can build with it. I wanna build a giant, like, look, this, this is really long. I wanna hang this on my ceiling and just have, just have her walk all the way across. Yeah, yeah we can totally do that. Alright, so it's uh, the Gyrobot. Is the name of the kit? And it has a Platinum Best Toy Award and a Parents Choice Gold Award. Do you remember where we got it? So, uh, we got it at Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble is where we picked up ours. I'm sure you can find them on Amazon different places. Uh, it's a little bit pricey, not crazy, but a little bit pricey because of the you know electronics and stuff in it. It doesn't come with Dracula. <laughs> Dracula not included. Dracula not included. It was a really, really cool kit though. One of the better little science kits that we've done to play around with. Uh, anything that shows gyroscopic precession, I'm going to love mm -hmm. automatically. So this yes. was a really good kit for that. Uh, there's a lot more experiments we didn't show you that uh, you can kind of plow through and, and do some really neat stuff. So. Uh, By the way, I'm going to answer probably like 50 billion questions that have probably already been posted in the comments. Um, Dracula is wearing an outfit from a Barbie. Yeah. That's why she's not wearing the outfit she came in. Yep. I found a giant stash of Barbie outfits because I used to be obsessed with Barbies. And I put one on Dracula and it looks good, so she's in that outfit. That's what she's wearing. <laughs> well, there she's you go. not wearing some sort of red. We haven't made it. We haven't started making them yet. No, Hopefully today. Made. Actually, yeah. our first sewing lesson maybe today. Oh, yay! Yeah, <laughs> so we'll get started. All right, cool. So, yeah, definitely check it out. Uh, I think it's uh, worth doing. So, definitely thumbs yes. up for me. What about you? D definitely a thumbs up. I can understand why I got a platinum and gold award. Cool. All right. You want to sign us off? Mm -hmm. So yeah. Thank you for watching. And a uh, tomorrow. Bye. Bye guys.